We're going to be exploring innovation and resistance. And it's worth noting, now that innovation is such a buzzword, that calling a company or a project innovative doesn't make it innovative. So what exactly is innovation? Well, literally, from the Latin, to innovate means to bring in the new. But interestingly, some of the greatest innovations of all are about taking something out. For example, to get to Einstein's theory of relativity, you have to drop assumptions about the differences between mass and energy. Or in the social sphere, to get to gender equality in the workplace, you have to drop assumptions about the differences between men and women. And that brings us to resistance. Why is it when we plan innovation, we don't take into account resistance? It's natural that people aren't going to want to change the way they do things. But when that happens, we get upset and we want to drop the project. And there's a flip side to that. If you want to check how innovative an idea or a project really is, check out how much resistance there is to it. If there isn't very much resistance or no resistance at all, then the idea or project probably wasn't very innovative in the first place. And then there's those organizations that innovate all the time, and that makes people suspicious about innovation. Join us at Amplify to explore innovation and resistance and how to apply them in your own work.